So in our today's lecture, we are going to see the types of microphones, the working principle and characteristics of microphones. So students, audio amplifier generally amplifies the audio signal, means it accepts the input as we discuss in practical also, it accepts the input from 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz and all the frequencies, audio frequencies that are there in this range that are amplified by the audio amplifier. So depending upon the types, the channels, there are two categories or types of audio amplifiers that is mono amplifier and stereo amplifier. The mono amplifier means if only one sound channel is amplified faithfully, that means single, then it is called as mono amplifier. Mono means single. And stereo is a Greek word. So stereo means two channel. So when signal from two microphones are captured, then they are processed, amplified and given to the speaker, then that type, that type of sound is called as stereo sound. So mono and stereo, these two kind of audio amplifiers are there. Mono means single channel, stereo means double channel or two channel. Monophonic sound is a single channel sound. It lacks in naturalness. And stereophony sound is a three dimensional, original or natural sound that we hear from our two ears. Means our two ears are there, that two ears hear the sound. It appears to be natural sound. And monophony, means single sound like suppose from your mobile phone only one speaker is there so sound comes from one speaker only so it lacks in naturalness so original sound from mouth and sound from mobile phone speaker both are appears to be different because mobile phone sound is monophonic sound and our natural one-to-one -one communication sound is stereophonic sound but how this microphone works so students, there are different types of microphones are there. At the time of practical, we have seen the characteristics of microphone, how it works, how the dynamic response is there, how to plot that on graph as well. Now today in lecture, we'll see how actually the microphone works. If you see the screen, You will find that these are the original sound waves. Okay, physical sound waves are there. These sound waves hits on this diaphragm. As you can see here, the diaphragm is there. This diaphragm can vibrate. Means it is flexible diaphragm. Okay, and to this diaphragm, one coil is connected. Okay, and this coil is wounded around this magnet. This coil is wounded around the magnet. And the two terminals of that coil are taken out. And these two terminals generate the electrical sound wave. So microphone is nothing but your transducer, which converts physical quantity of sound to the electronic quantity of sound. How it is done, we'll see it. First of all, we'll see this dynamic microphone. Sound wave generally nothing but the vibrations of particles in this way. These vibrating particles, when hit this diaphragm, when hit this diaphragm, this diaphragm also vibrates according to the particle vibration. So this diaphragm starts vibrating like this. To this diaphragm, this coil is connected. Correct. So as diaphragm is vibrating, coil will also vibrate. But this coil is wounded around the magnet. This coil is wounded around the magnet. So obviously the magnet also magnet generates the electromagnetic field. This electromagnetic field or lines of forces of this magnet are cutted by this coil. In First year, you might have studied the magnet and the motor working principle. Similar to that, here also, 
these lines of forces are generated by the magnet these lines of forces are around this magnet so this coil which is vibrating in nature will cut that magnetic lines of forces so according to that cutting the amount of cutting will be more more current will be generated so more force of this particle is there more displacement of the coil so more current will generate in this wires and the frequency of vibration will decide the frequency of analog signal over here jodi fastly he coil vibrate will tevda fast types of current tevda frequency of current ya madhe generate will so the frequency of analog signal will be similar to the frequency of this sound wave this is the basic mi microphone dynamic microphone is the basic microphone there are some advantages disadvantage of, of this microphone we'll see it later on but simplest type of microphone is there diaphragm vibrates because of that coil is vibrating coil is surrounded uh, coil is surrounding the magnet the magnetic lines of forces are cutted and hence we know that faraday's law correct faraday's law of electromagnetic induction according to that current is generated inside this two wires is it clear how actually the construction is there how actually the you can say current is generated in the form of audio signal this is the diaphragm dynamic microphone is it clear is yes, i am to going i am going to share you another kind of images also as you can see in this diagram also this is your actual microphone how it looks like correct sound waves are coming from this side this is the casing of microphone why it is there it is for protection purpose as well as the filters are there that filter removes out the noise frequency and just passes the audio signal actually this filter works in two ways for protection as well as for the filtering of noise signal so this sound vibrations particle sound vibrations of particles impact on this diaphragm this diaphragm vibrates according to that vibration as we have seen now the electronic signal is generated and this electronic signal actually for the working of this a uh, microphone battery is also connect required so battery is placed over here that's why the shape or the size of this microphone is like this because of that battery also some electronic circuit is also there inside this microphone hence the shape of the microphone is like that okay so this battery is connected over here and the sound signal which is generated over here is carried along the coaxial line coaxial wire to study kelela jasta rahe so accord on that coaxial cable this audio signal is transmitted is it clear yes sir okay we'll see uh, one more image see this casing is there which actually work in two functions protection as well as filtering out so sound waves make diaphragm vibrate this is the diaphragm over here you can see this is a magnetic coil 
which is connected to the diaphragm this according to the vibrations of this sound wave this magnetic coil also vibrates and this this coil is connected or it is the coil is wounded around the magnet so on these two wires electric wires the sound waves are generated and for the operation battery is also connected inside this microphone every time it is not like that you just overlap the coil on that uh, magnet sometime the magnetic is also magnet shape is also like this and as you can see in previous case the diaphragm was in horizontal shape uh, here the diaphragm is in horn shape you must have seen the horn uh, so this is a horn shape diaphragm so sound which is vibrating particles that vibrating particles impact on this diaphragm over here and this diaphragm is connected to this coil see the shape of the magnet shape of the magnet is different this diaphragm is cone shape is there the cone structure to respond to the sound pressure vibration if the shape of the diaphragm is like vertical line then all the sound waves does not impact perfectly on that vertical diaphragm so cone shape of diaphragm is preferred like this vibrations are accepted by this diaphragm coil also vibrates coil is surrounded coil is surrounding to the magnet because of that magnetic lines of forces are cutted hence the magnetic lines of forces are cutted hence current is generated i hope the working principle of microphone is clear now we'll see the types of microphones the first type of microphone we saw that is the dynamic microphone first type of microphone is dynamic microphone dynamic microphone means coil is wanted around the magnet then second type of microphone is the condenser microphone condenser microphone obviously it works on the principle of capacitor two capacitor plates are there when sound waves vibrating particles impact on one plate of cap capacitor obviously the capacitance of two plates changes and according to that voltage is created across the two plates and in that way the sound signal is generated then third is ribbon microphone ribbon microphone actually what happens between two plates the thin granules of carbons are placed so when sound particle hits the diaphragm 
that distance between two plates changes and the granules comes closer so because of that resistance of that material changes and accordingly current increases or decreases depends upon the vibrations of the microphone and fourth is crystal microphone so we'll see this first diagram here you are seeing this is the condenser microphone we have seen the dynamic microphone whatever your general day to day life microphone you see that is a dynamic microphone this microphone you have seen this in our college also while doing the practicals so this is dynamic microphone this is the ribbon microphone and this is next one and fourth one is your crystal microphone have you seen all these four diagrams now we'll see the internal diagram this is crystal microphone this is the ribbon microphone obviously we are seeing the dynamic microphone
and the fourth one. Condenser. See, we'll see each one. We have seen the dynamic microphone. This is the way how the dynamic microphone look like. This is the internal diagram. We have seen sound waves hitting this diaphragm. Coil vibrates. Current is generated. Okay. Then second condenser microphone. This is the way how it looks like. See the internal structure. Sound waves hits the capacitor plate. Because of that hitting the capacitor plate vibrates. This capacitor plate vibrates. Capacitance between two plates changes and these two plates are then connected to the battery and at the output here because of that the voltage changes like this sinusoidally. Correct? As these vibrations are there, if distance between plate decreases, voltage increases. If distance between plate increases, voltage decreases. And like that, the sine waves are generated like this. Then ribbon microphone, this metal is there because of that vibration, the metal plates are changing its shape and because of that current is generated. And diaphragm, as the diaphragm vibrates, it creates pressure on this piezoelectric crystal and because of that the voltage is created across this two wire. Piezoelectric crystal, you know that when vibrations are given on other two sides, the voltages are generated. It is as simple 